Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. My name is Kim Warner and I am your host. The days have been a little bit different. You know, recording has been a little bit different, a lot going on. And I want to say um, thanks for the subscribes, the likes, and the shares. Um, I'm in transition right now, making moves. And um, I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about energy vampires. So we want to be able to recognize energy vampires. Um, we have to be honest with ourselves when we see that we're growing. Uh, that means that we see ourselves growing, you know, to new levels. That means that a lot of the eras um, and mental um, concepts of past we've let go of. Um, some of the things that we did when we were 20, we no longer do. Um, that is in um, negative behavior. And so this is how we can recognize our growth, such as even recognizing when we become angry and we are able to shut it down before it escalates in a situation. Um, if we see that we're triggered, then that gives us an understanding that we still have those areas to work on. And energy vampires feed off of different areas of our lives, especially when they've been connected with us in relationships. Um, it could be work, it could be um, intimate relationships, but um, we're connected. There's a cord in the spirit realm astrally that is connected to us. And so in order to actually sever the ties, what we have to do is recognize that it is a toxic relationship and there could be um, a tear in our aura field. And so the aura, as we go in, you know, daily doing meditation, it's necessary for us to look at our aura and make sure that we have covered ourselves completely and grounded ourselves. So back to the energy vampire, some of the things that um, keep them around is the fact that they're a lower energy and our energy is climbing higher. And so they feed off of it. But our recognizing them or ourselves in that position means that we begin to position ourselves to um, back away, to sever the ties. Because at the end of the day, I don't think that anyone could actually take your energy unless you're giving it to them. That means that you're constantly in a position with that individual where they can take your energy. There's no way to let them know because Consciousness goes from level to level and glory to glory. This is like what the Bible says, from level to level and glory to glory. So if we're dealing with someone in a lower level of consciousness, that means that their energy level is um, lower. And that means that no matter what we say to them, they can't understand it because they don't ascertain what we're saying. The vibration is lower. So that means that we have to make a conscious decision on what to do about the work relationship, the friendship, the intimate relationship. And, you know, if it's a marriage, um, it's, it's really nothing you can do. I mean, I believe that people can pray for people, but at the end of the day, we all have free will. And so the best thing for us to do is get a piece about the situation and know that there's more out there for us and wish each other well, you know, because if not, then that means that you're always going back to where you were in the relationship to meet them. And that's why the relationship is in balance. And that's what energy vampires, as they call them, actually do. 
they're drawing from you because it, it makes them feel better and they don't want to draw from their own will as Jacob and, you know, Jesus talked about. So um, I, I don't really think that it's an angry situation or that we should get upset with them. Um, I believe that when you know better, then you do better. And so this gives us the opportunity to make changes in our own lives because we are co-creators and um, we create our lives. I feel like if I'm not um, respecting someone, then the universe is going to bring me karma. And I feel that if someone is not respecting me or we're not getting on well, we could make you know, things better if we saw eye to eye. But if you're not on the same energy frequency, then you can't see eye to eye because one person might be, you know, working on themselves spiritually and the other one is working on themselves the way that they want to. Um, I could be wrong, but I've never seen anyone um, grow unless they tap into spirit and they begin to practice spiritually. And, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't believe that. And so, you know, that's good for them. But for those that believe in spiritual practice and that it's important, they've seen the changes in themselves, you do that daily. If it's two and three times a day, then you do it. Because the more you practice, the more peace you get, you know? And so this is something that I wanted to come on and just um, give because we're in a season where people are coming into a place where they see that they need to make changes in themselves. That change could be relationships that have been in balance um, actually working out because both of them are seeing eye to eye. But if you're in a place where the imbalance is there and you know that you feel drained all the time, then you either come into congruency with the person that you're working with, your friends, your family, um, your intimate partner, and really look at yourself. And then you meet with them to understand what it would take to build that relationship further than where you've been or to let go of past situations and then you move forward because the only the only thing between an energy vampire I believe and a person that is actually working on themselves is a person that does not want to accept that they have error in them that they have made mistakes they don't even want to apologize or you know say I'm sorry um, it, it's something that makes them feel um, inadequate to apologize and that's sad because that means that their ego is dictating their life when they could have a wonderful life you know um they blame people instead of taking responsibility you know and you could have a wonderful life if you took responsibility for your own actions so that means that if the person you work with your children whoever you're having error with or even yourself if everybody in the world, even as things are going on, took responsibility for themselves, we wouldn't have a lot of the issues that's going on out there, you know? And, and this is something to think about. So people are used to external living. They're used to taking from others because the world is created on capitalism. And capitalism is a way of feeding off of others. You know, you put people in slavery or they got to go to work for um, minimum wage, low pay, and it's draining to them. And a lot of people don't even work, wake up to see that the system is like an energy vampire. So this is some um, illumination that um, we're having and we're discussing. And um, so I'm going to leave it right there. Um, energy vampires, they need love. And so we practice loving them, but we have to practice unconditional love, which means that I can't give you any more of what I have. You've got to learn how to go within and upgrade yourself because that's the work that Jesus talked about. 
you know, the kingdom of God is within. And yeah, of course, some people say they don't believe in God, but I bet you'll believe in God when that sickness hits your behind. You know what I'm saying? I bet you would start praying when some kind of situation came up. If a truck hit your car and uh, you were pinching, I bet you'd be calling Jesus that atheist. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get some foundation in our minds where we understand what's really going on and be that energy power, I mean, energy vampire within self that makes you want to believe that you are humanly God. You can't get to be God until you start tapping into the inner world, the spirit world. All right. So hit me up at ifwbuilders at gmail.com on your thoughts. And of course, if you want personal sessions, um, uh, put that in the email and um, subscribe, like, and tell your friends. And so have a blessed evening wherever you are in the world. Blessings. Bye-bye.